Hey friends, my name is Gia, and I just love to eat, laugh, and live. <laughs> Welcome. Do you like my hair wrap? <laughs> Keeping my hair straight. This is real life, guys, so my hair is in a wrap. I'm trying to get it straight for you. Um, anyways, today, guys, I wanted to show you a super easy peasy, high protein, vegan brownie. What's that word? Oh, good job with the, with the intro. Um, batter. <laughs> vegan brownie batter um you can actually cook this to make this brownie as well but i actually like this better as a batter so you can just eat spoonfuls of it um and because it's vegan everything is there's no like uh raw raw like butter or like um eggs and so you can just eat it and just store it in the fridge and have it for whenever you have your chocolate cravings which i have all the time i actually have another recipe for a proper brownie which i'll record for you guys later but I hope you enjoy this. I thought I'd record this one first because it's easier to do. Anywho, I'm going to look down here because I have the ingredients listed here, but I want to show you guys first what ingredients I have, and then I will put it together and I'll make you jealous. <laughs> okay, so first thing, guys, we are going to start with half a cup of regular old flour. This is all-purpose flour. And then I have a two-thirds cup of soy protein, isolate soy protein. I get mine from nuts.com. Um, regular old soy protein, unflavored. I'll link that down below. Anything that I have here, I'll try to link down below for you guys to easily buy or whatever. Um, wheat gluten. Uh, I actually get this bulk from my grocery store, um, but you guys can also get this from nuts.com. And then, oh, that wheat gluten is one-third cup of wheat gluten. And then I use Wonder Cocoa. I love this cocoa powder. Um, I use seven tablespoons of Wonder Cocoa. I love it because of the macronutrients. It's pretty friendly compared to um, other ones that are out there. It's, I don't know if you guys saw that, zero grams of fat, one gram of carb, and one gram of protein per tablespoon. And then I have half a teaspoon of salt. You guys can use any salt that you want. But I have uh, black salt at home, which I figure would just give it a bit of a kick. Um, so that's half a teaspoon of salt. And then I have a quarter teaspoon of regular old <laughs> baking soda. That's a quarter teaspoon. Um, and then three teaspoons of vanilla extract. Put it away. You guys know what vanilla extract looks like. Three teaspoons. You guys can do more or less if you want. Um, and half cup of milk. The milk that I use right now, though it's not my favorite, is silk. I actually tend to like blue diamond better, but this is what they just had at the grocery store. So, sorry, one and a half cups of milk. I'm vegan, so it's almond milk. Um, eight tablespoons of Blancato sugar. Um, so... I think this is new for a lot of folks, so let me take a moment to explain this. So, Lancato um, is a kind of a zero calorie sweetener. Um, I used to use Stevia a lot, but the reason I stopped using Stevia is because although they haven't done testing on humans, they've done testing on rats and other cultures have done it. I, I don't really know, but I'm just being uh, cautious. Uh, Stevia has been said to maybe cause uh, infertility. Um, so I just started using Lancato and, and maybe the research hasn't been there enough yet to know really the impact of this, but I don't know guys, I'm just, I'm just trying to do what I do. Anyways, Lancato is made of, um, erythritol as well as monk fruit extract. Erythritol has a bad rep, a bad rep, um, but this is a non-GMO erythritol. Most erythritols are actually, um, made from... Uh, modified um, is, is, is uh, scientifically modified um, where uh, this is natural. So anyways, they have a regular one and then a golden which, one which is kind of uh, it, holy guacamole! It's kind of like brown sugar. So anyways, I'm using the golden one. I cannot talk. And I'm not going to edit this. <laughs> Because it's easier. Um, and then what else do I have? Oh, and then I wanted to spruce it up, so I wanted to enjoy it more by adding some enjoy life. 
<laughs> chocolate morsel. Okay, so I have all of my dry ingredients here, guys. Take a looky looky. Um, you can see that's the black salt on top, that little black thing. The um the lighter brown bits is the lancado sugar. That's the cocoa powder. Um, the soy protein is there as well, as well as the flour, etc., etc. And then I have with me my wonderful liquids. I decided to just separate it out just so I can show you guys, but you guys can put this all in one bowl. So this is my milk and my vanilla extract. Oh, do you like my new whisk? Isn't it cute? Um, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put the liquid into the dry, and then the last thing I'm going to do is put the morsels in there, and then it's kind of basically it, guys. You guys can change this up however you want. I've added blueberries in the past. You can add more vanilla extract. You could add more cocoa powder. You could add more lancado. By the way, you don't have to use lancado. You can use any sweetener you like. Okay, let me put it together. How's that for professional angles? <laughs> okay, dry wet oh you, you know what I should have done I should have I really should have mixed all the dry ingredients first just to make sure it's all evenly incorporated because the wheat gluten can clump so mix your dry ingredients first guys bad bad on me so you can see I'm just going to keep mixing this I may you guys can choose to add more um, liquid milk if you want I'm just going to see how this goes. Let me change actually to my spatula. I'm going to add just a smidge more of almond milk, maybe about like half a cup, or where did I put it? I'm going to add a, maybe about a quarter cup. Perfect. Just mix, 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 mix. I've got it mixed pretty well together. That's what it looks like. <laughs> and now I am just going to add the chocolate chips that I cut up. These were the bigger chunks of uh, Enjoy Life, but I like different kinds of texture, so I'm just going to... I chopped it up a little bit, and now I'm just going to add it in. So professional. I cheated and I already started testing it. Um, I'm so good, guys. Um, I'm using my phone to record this video. <laughs> I'm using my phone to record this video. So I can't look at the macronutrients right now. But once I figure out the macronutrients, because I can look it up in my phone app, then I'll be good. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoy. Um, again, this is just a really easy, super easy peasy um, chocolate brownie batter that you can eat. I suggest that you refrigerate this and then... Alright guys, um, if you like this kind of video, if you think this kind of stuff is helpful, if you like that my camera drops, hit the like button. 
If you want to see more content from this mug, hit the subscribe button and there's a notification bell there right next to it. Hit it. Ding, 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 ding every time this baby gorilla posts a video. Oh, and if you guys aren't already following me on social media, follow me. Do that. Alright guys, I hope you have a good day. And that's it. Bye.